cool. All right, let's go over installing Android, uh, React Native for Android. So if you go to the Getting Started page on the Facebook React website, you can see the choices of the combinations in which you can install this thing. You can install iOS or Android on Windows, Linux, or Mac. But the easiest is Android on Windows or on anything else because iOS only works on Mac. It won't work on any other platform. So let's stick with Android for Windows for now. So if we follow the instructions perfectly, uh, it's going to tell us we need to install a bunch of other weird stuff. Uh, we just need to take this for granted, and we just need to do it. So what we need to do is go to Chocolatey uh, and go to their web page, say install now, and we're going to copy and paste this command in here in the code window. We can just click this button and copy and paste it. Then we're going to go to a command prompt, and we're going to paste that into there and just... Uh, with Windows, uh, PowerShell is already probably installed, so it should uh, work to install Chocolatey. It's going to do a bunch of stuff. Uh, I've already done that, so let's move on to after you have Chocolatey installed. Then we're going to follow the commands directly. We're going to copy and paste these commands. Uh, Node. JS, you probably have this already installed, so you don't have to do this part, but if you don't have Node.js uh, Node installed, then go ahead and do this. So you're going to copy and paste uh, these commands into the command prompt. Let's see, i got too many of these things open. So let's do this one. So you're just going to copy and paste that in, install it, and then you're going to copy and paste this Python one. And then you're going to install that, both in the command line. It can be from any directory because it's just a global install. It doesn't matter. So then uh, <clears throat> you'll want to install the React Native command line interface. And that's going to be through uh, NPM. And you're just going to do a normal NPM install. So this will be, and it's a global one, so it doesn't matter where you do it from. So again, you copy and paste this, put it in your command line, and run it. Then it says, okay, download and install Android Studio. Fine. So let's go to that website, and you're going to say, okay. First, it doesn't go in order. It doesn't tell you um, what you should have before this, which is the Java Development Kit, Java SDK. So Android, of course, is based on Java, uh, Java so you've got to have the runtime installed in order for anything to work to begin with. So you go to the Java download page, and you're just going to want the top one is fine. You have to accept the license agreement over here and find the Windows. Hopefully, you're in a 64-bit machine, so you download the 64-bit one. And uh, it's self-explanatory. Uh, I didn't have any issues uh, installing it. And so that's what I'm covering is the issues that I, I did run into. So uh, hopefully, you won't run into any issues. So if we go back to the um, Android Studio setup, so right here, after you install Java, they say you can type Javac uh, dash version to see if you have it installed. Uh, I have, this didn't work for me. It, the command is actually Java, no C. And so once Java is installed successfully, this command in your command prompt will return something. And so then, Let's install the actual Android Studio. Uh, this is self-explanatory, too. It's pretty huge, over a gig, so it takes a while to download, and you just run it, install it. No issues, again. It's pretty simple. Uh, once both those are installed, then we go back to the... Uh, let's see. Testing. Testing that everything works. So we're going to take these commands and... We're going to navigate to a location in your terminal or a command prompt, and we're going to issue these commands. So React Native is installed globally because you NPM installed it globally. It's going to be there in your command line, and you're going to want to run it from whatever directory you want to put a project in. So copy and paste these commands, and actually, uh, that's the issue. 
copy and paste the first two commands into your uh, terminal command line and run those. It's going to create a new folder called Awesome Project, or you can change Awesome Project to whatever you want. Uh, that's the name of your project. And then it tells you to run this React Native run Android command. So the, the uh, executable is React Native, and the command you pass in or the parameter you pass in is run Android. Well, if everything's, and then it says, if everything is set up correctly, you should see your new app. Well, it just skipped a huge amount of steps. Not huge, but it skips several steps that you need to do before this actually occurs. So let me see. What um, I'm going to go to the code. Here is the directory. Of, um, I'm in Visual Studio Code, and I'm open the directory of what that React Native init built. So if I look at all these files, the uh, files here are, uh, these are all were generated. I didn't make any of these. So if I look in the Android uh, folder, because we're making an Android uh, app, and you can see there's Gradle folder. That's the technology that builds stuff. Um, let's see. One of the first things that came up was uh, this local dot properties. So let's, if I go to a command line and let, let's get rid of this and pretend that that wasn't there to begin with. And I'm going to run the command they tell you to. So they tell you to say react native run Android. So it starts doing its thing, which is transforming JavaScript into um, JavaScript and React code and J JSX. is transforming all that into the native uh, code of Android, which is Java. So something we just we executed the command that they told us to directly, and it, it doesn't work already. So what does it say? It says SDK. If you see here, it says SDK location not found. Define location with SDK dir in local properties file or add Android home environment variable. So when you installed Android, it went to some folder, and those are the things that allow you to build Android type stuff on a Windows machine. You can't just do that just out of nowhere. You have to have a code base or with an SDK system development kit that lets you do that. Well, the React Native system doesn't know where that is. So you need to tell it where it is. You do this by creating this local under the Android folder, directly under the Android folder, which again was put in default by React Native. This was already here. Uh, so you create this file called local properties, and you copy and paste, or you put in the root to your, or the path to your SDK installation. This is mine, users, uh, username, app data, local, Android SDK. On Windows machines, it should always be, it's probably going to be the same it, with the uh, user name changed out. So um, now we save that. And one moment. OK, so we fix the uh, issue of pointing to the SDK directory by creating local.properties and putting this uh, path in here. So everything should right, work, right? So let's run that React Native run Android command again to have it try and build and run the, the app. Hello. And we have another error. So what, what do we have here now? It says, failed to find build tools revision 23.01.0.1. What the heck does this mean? Uh, let me pause the video for a second and uh, continue on in another, the next video.